Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Ellie Gaskell. If I have not seen you before, but hola, welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of like a sit down video. So on my Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me some questions and I'm going to answer them. Also update, currently locked out of my channel because something went wrong with like my school account, being connected to a brand account. So I'm starting a new account and hopefully I can get all my old content back onto this account. But if you're here, hi, this is my new channel. Let's get started. Singing or acting if I have to choose one? So I would probably say singing because I actually started singing way before I started acting. Like I started singing in about third grade and I only got into like theater when I was in seventh grade when I did, or sixth, end of sixth grade when I did my first show. But in singing for me at least, like I feel like with any song I do, a part of performing is acting, if you get what I mean. So I guess they go hand in hand with each other so you can't really choose between them but I don't know like because I do a lot more singing than I do acting so probably singing what has been my favorite role to play in theater also I love your videos thank you Gabby love you the most I think my favorite role would have to be small Allison in fun home just because that production was so incredible and it was like my first professional one and everybody was just so professional and the whole experience just really added up to the role and that that character had so much like emotional depth or at least her older her versions of her have emotional depth so i'd probably say small allison from fun home pancakes or waffles waffles because they have a different texture than pancakes i don't know they're a lot more like i like like the crispness that comes with the texture if you know, you know, you know. What are you gonna name your future pets? Now this is a hard question because I feel like you need to get the pet first and then determine its personality and then you can name it. Like my dog Hank is very much a Hank. If you met him, like you know, but he's kind of like, ugh, like I'll I don't know how to explain it, but like he's a French bulldog. His eyes go like two different ways, and like I feel like Hank is a very much like appropriate name for him. So you kind of have to like see. How often do you go to Starbucks? That depends. When I was in the US this summer, I went to Starbucks like twice because I actually didn't like the Starbucks in the US for some reason. Like what I usually get is the caramel macchiato and in the US everything is much, 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 much sweeter and it almost gave me a heart attack. I was like having diabetes, like. But like here, if I feel like it, I'll go like every day. I know it's bad for me, but like, but like during school, probably like every three or so days. So back off, I'm kind of addicted, but not completely, like I have some self-control. Thank you. How's being a high schooler? It's pretty fun. I actually, like I was super scared for my freshman year. Now I'm going to be a sophomore, but freshman year was like the best year out of all my school years, just because I did so much and met so many like amazing people. And like, I don't know, there's a new sense of freedom that comes with high school. So it was just, it was really good to experience everything and just like middle school is so annoying. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Middle school was just like, you know, like I didn't like it. But high school had a new like sense of responsibility and maternity, which I really needed because I don't like it when people treat me like a kid. So high school was, was good. I'll probably make another video for like advice for like freshmen or just like general school advice so that I can like help you all out, I guess, because I have some questions about school in here. Advice for someone who loves musical theater and singing but is petrified to audition, try out. Okay, so auditioning is really freaking hard. I gotta say auditioning is the the most nerve wracking part of a like show performance process. Like the first show, 
is not as nerve-wracking as the audition because you feel like you have something to prove whereas if you're going out and you're performing already you've already proven yourself that you've earned this role i would say even if you like what's the worst that's gonna happen you don't get the role you move on like that happens like i remember my first i auditioned for my first thing which was like annie and i got like a finalist from one of the orphans and I was like, yeah, I'm so gay. And little sixth grade me and was like, I'm bomb, you know, all that stuff. And then I didn't make it and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. Like this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Uh. And I thought I was like actually terrible. Like I thought I was so bad, but look at where I am now. I've had a lot of success. And if you like really love musical theater and this is something that you want to pursue, the worst that can happen is you don't get the role, so you just go in, do it. If you get the role, then you you have it. So of course you're gonna be scared, but just do it and you'll get over it. The experience that comes with it is what's worthwhile. So just try to get over that fear and just go for it. Why you bake so well? I don't know, I have the talent that my mother taught me. Also, if you didn't know this, I have a baking business, and if you live in Singapore and you go to the same school as I do, go order. I'll put the link down below. What's the difference between a macchiato and a latte? So this is from my friend Joshi, and he always messes up my Starbucks order because he doesn't know the difference, so hi. Yeah. I'm Ellie Gaskell, I'm your local barista, and I'm here to teach you the difference. So from what I know, a latte is literally milk and coffee milk then you put some coffee in it okay a macchiato has different things and different levels of ingredients a uh, macchiato has like milk coffee and like vanilla syrup and i think it has some like milk foam in it i'm pretty sure but don't take my word for it i'm not completely sure it has different ingredients different levels of ingredients and they're just com to completely drink so they're just two completely different drinks. It is my fave cupcake flavor. I don't know about other places, but my personal favorite, like for the stuff I make, is probably the lemon because that, that is good. That is so good. But I make really good like Oreo cream cheese frosting. So the Oreo cupcake is another good one, but like, you know, they're all good to me, but I gotta say like lemon is the most unique and so, might have to go with that one. Like lemon is like bomb. So I recommend you get it. Link it down below. How did you get to be so cool? Well, <laughs> I was born this way, so like, sorry, I can't help you with that. You just you gotta be me, you know what you know? Okay, Um, what kind of music do you listen to? So I get this question a lot and that's kind of hard because I'm usually so busy that I only have time to listen to the stuff I have to memorize for shows. So I listen to a lot of like musical theater regularly, but this summer, since I've been like chillaxing and stuff, my friend made this playlist with a lot of like stuff I've never heard before, but it was like really good music. I don't even know. Like I don't listen to a lot of the really popular stuff. I like kind of like those hidden gems. You can follow my Spotify, which is, I'll put down below and you can see what I listen to. I can make another video, but like maybe not because I don't want to get copyrighted and that's kind of hard to do. How do you cope with stress? I can make a whole video on this and like how to like get through school and stress with if you're like coping with different things in your life. But honestly, let me tell you my secret. When I get stressed, I break down and cry. So other people, when they get stressed or like they feel overwhelmed, a lot of this leads to like mental health issues. Like some people can get anxiety or get like be depressed when they have too much on their plate or they're, they can't manage their stress. But honestly, I'm telling you, don't bottle that up. Don't bottle up your, your like overwhelmness. If that's not a word, I think, but I'm gonna go with it but literally just let it out. Like after I cry, I'm like, good. I'm like, okay, like I can do this. Also like if you are close with your parents, talk to them. Although some of you might not be close with your parents, but 
for me I like to talk to my parents but usually when I do that my dad's like do your work what are you doing talking to me go do it and then I cry and then I'm good <laughs> so uh, also write it down on like lists or something so that you're like organized and then it'll kind of help take it all in and so you're less overwhelmed with everything you have to do. What is your favorite show? I don't know. I've literally, I feel like I've watched everything on Netflix. Like, I don't, like I'm running out of things. So if you have any recommendations, please comment them below. But I gotta say, Jane the Virgin is really good. Brooklyn Nine-Nine is funny, that's good. If you're into more like dramatic stuff, I would say try out like Dynasty. Any of like the um, CW stuff, like Flash, Supergirl, I really like those as well. I don't know, I can make a video on this, but there's so much that I've watched that it's even hard for me to remember. But I like a lot, and so I can give you recommendations just another time when I can actually look at what I've watched. That's all I'm going to do for now. Um, if you want me to make another video like this at another time, let me know because I will because it's easy for me. I'm going to be doing um, some other videos where I get stuff from you guys, so just watch out on my Instagram, which I'll link down below. If you want to like participate in any of my Instagram, like polls, question thingy-mabobbers, you know? But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And while you're down there, make sure to subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys at a later date. I'm still trying to get my channel figured out, but it will be back soon, I promise. I love you guys. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye. This couldn't happen again. This is that one. This is the thrill divine.